It's been a busy tour for the soldiers of B Company from the Royal Irish Regiment, mounting regular patrols around Nad Ali South. The troops now need to start pushing east, so Checkpoint Katina is undergoing a major refit to allow a company size group to be billeted there. It's the fifth such build that three troop of 5-2 Para Squadron Royal Engineers have been involved in since September, but it's not been without its difficulties. It's very difficult, uh, you've got a lot of considerations. First of all, where to build. Obviously the fields are heavily irrigated in, in, this, in this area and we also have to get in a lot of aggregate uh, stone and that comes in from local contractors, uh, which in itself creates quite a few problems getting the contractors from their base in Lashkagar out to this location. Um, you know, they face quite a high threat from the insurgents themselves and when they get here, it, you know, we have to make sure that they, they bring the correct amount of aggregate and uh, it can sometimes cause a lot of problems getting them here. For the 19 tradesmen on site, the work is fraught with danger. In some locations, they have been exposed to attack while putting the basic infrastructure into place. Up in this location, uh, there's uh, minimal insurgent activity. The Royal Irish have done a fantastic job of er eradicating the majority of the insurgents in this area in the beginning of their tour. And also the infantry, obviously, they realise that this is going to be their, one of their main locations, so they do a fantastic job in putting out screens, certainly in the initial phase when we're working and we haven't got the protection to work under. And then as time goes on, obviously the walls go up and that's our first thing to get in. The troops will be able to move out of their temporary accommodation and take advantage of their purpose-built base. In three weeks, uh, you'll see all the walls complete, all the sangers, uh, like the ones you can see behind you, will be complete. Um, there'll be uh, accommodation for 120 people uh, from, from B Company. There'll be uh, two HESCO accommodation bunkers, which will provide space for an operations room for the, uh, the infantry company. There'll also be a med centre, uh, which will provide enough med cover for, for an entire company. Um, there'll be accommodation stores, there's going to be mortar pits, and even behind you there's going to be a, an HLS. It's down to the progress the Royal Irish Regiment have made in the area that this rebuild has been deemed necessary. Fiona Weir, Forces News, Afghanistan.